This was a, a wonderful uh, workshop. Uh, in fact, we have been very uh, lucky. Probably you deserve, we deserve this luck. But our uh, workshops, have, all of them, been uh, very successful. Uh, this one was quite challenging for us because uh, it is it was the first uh, workshop that we organized in Asia in this case in India and uh, there was a topic land uh, as you can see land and displacement a big issue here affecting so uh, particularly the uh, tribal people as they are called here the indigenous people or Adivasis and the Dalits which are the untouchables those that are the lowest castes and uh, they very often are landless peasants and uh, both them and the indigenous people which are landowners but are displaced by the mega projects by the mining companies by the projects for large dams or for big highways so they came from all over india we can see here that uh, uh, from all India, you have movements from all India and we also brought together not just uh, rural movements, grassroots movements from rural areas that are fighting against the uh, land grab and, uh, and the displacement, but also urban land issues, slam issues, street vendors or informal uh, vendors, informal markets here in Mumbai. Uh, we are uh, in a city in which a lot of work has been done by our colleagues uh, from the Tata Institute of Social Science, particularly Professor Sharit Palmik, who co-organized with us uh, this uh, workshop. It went uh, very well. Uh, for two days we have met, uh, been meeting here. We had uh, wonderful uh, discussions. Uh, probably, as usual in the workshop, the, the, the important debates come at the end and here in India there were two main lines of uh, uh, separation or cleavage. One was whether in fact it is necessary uh, some development, uh, sustainable development uh, of the type that uh, we have now in India and others that think that this uh, development is not sustainable, cannot reach all the people and in fact should not reach all the people and particularly the indigenous people bring their own civilizational model, very much like the indigenous peoples in Latin America. So that's the first division is about uh, improving capitalism or moving to another civilizational model, paradigm, which definitely will be non-capitalist, post-capitalist uh, probably. Uh, the second line is about strategy, because there are people, movements here that have been working uh, in uh, direct action, grassroots organizations, but peaceful means. And there have been here yeah, movements that have been involved in armed struggle. As we know in India, uh, the so-called Naxalites, which are Maoist groups that in some tribal areas have been sometimes very successful in defending the populations, but using armed struggles. And there is therefore areas highly militarized and with a, a struggle between the uh, guerrillas and uh, uh, the state, the, the military forces. So these debates came at the end, of course uh, uh, we could not solve them, but uh, at least we managed to reach the big debates among the movements. And so we are very happy for that. We have videos from all the movements involved here, which will go directly and fast to our page and um, we are still in process of writing a final document and uh, so I'm very pleased that the first uh, UPMS in Asia took place now and uh, was a great success. So I'm very pleased.